Hello, Dr. Fraser. My name is Nakimbe Oya Oshan Beobab. I am leaving you this video because I'm a friend of Suzanne Hartz, who I believe will be speaking at your Power Network conference. And I'm inviting you to take advantage of a free mobile app that I would like to create for your conference. I'm sure that you know your agenda is already set up, so there may not be any speaking room or any seminars or workout or breakout rooms. But one of the things that I noticed was sorely lacking was any sort of technology or digital stuff or, or, or marketing, especially around mobile. There's a mobile revolution taking place. 60% of searches are now done on a mobile site. If websites aren't mobile optimized, Google will not show them as high in their search rankings and that's obviously going to have a negative effect on people finding them and their business. So it's very, very important and I thought you know, Nakembe, you're coming in kind of late. Maybe you can do it next year, but 2018 is kind of too late. Uh, businesses are moving to live stream. They're moving to uh, more video, digital consumption. You know, people are worried about SEO, which is search engine optimization. Everybody knows that. But now what's coming down the pike is um, video search engine optimization. If everybody is consuming video, then how can it be ranked? It's based on keywords that you have in your video. So there are all of these things that I would really like to teach the black community. And, uh, you know, of course, I want to get my business out there, but I also want to show businesses, you know, how mobile apps can benefit them and their business. And by you having an app for your conference, it just makes you seem more tech savvy, more innovative, you know, more of a technological leader. Additionally, because this is for the black community, I, there's Black Girls Code and there's uh, Code 4020, which is really just trying to teach minorities to learn code because that is the way of the future and it's really an opportunity for African Americans or, you know, anybody, you know, from the African diaspora or just any Pan-African person, period. Um, it's an opportunity to sort of close the financial gap, you know, if people understand programming languages for computers or you know, just creating programs that can analyze data that marketers use to make decisions, it's huge. You know, so I really want to get the message out there. I would really like to be a part of your conference. I would really, really like to speak on this. I do speak here in Toronto at various events and I know how to speak. But additionally, I really would like to just donate a mobile app to your conference. I would like to develop a mobile app for your conference and people can take notes, they can interact with each other, they can leave messages on a networking mall. I can give you a few examples of what uh, conference mobile apps will look like. It's also an opportunity for you to make additional income because of all the vendors that go there. You know, you go to these conferences, there are 1,500 vendors. You don't want to take home 1,500 pieces of paper, but if they're all just in an app, it's wonderful. You don't have to have a bag with tons and tons of paper. Everybody's there. You could sell push notifications. So any of the vendors, if they want to offer a promotion, you know, after your conference, because sometimes after the conference, nothing else happens, but you can actually continue generating revenue even after the conference is over by saying, hey, you know what, we've got some, um, we've got some advertising sponsorship opportunities in the front slots the front sliding pages of our app or if you want to promote your business you know for 500 bucks we have this many download people who have downloaded our app we can send a push notification to everybody's phone that's like sending a text message to a phone and unlike an email which has declining open rates right now going down from you know 10 percent to like six percent because we get we're bombarded with email there's too many emails and you give people your real email address and then you give them the fake email address, right? So people aren't opening emails, so marketers' messages aren't always getting through, but if you send a message, because mobile marketing is also the next big thing, if you can send a push notification that's like a text message on your phone from a business, it's a 94 to 98% open rate. Like, everybody opens their text message, you know? So someone can say, you know, through the through phrasenet.com, for example, if we do an app for that, that, you know, they're going to send a message and everybody's going to get it. Anyway, my point is mobile is huge. Mobile is huge. I would love the opportunity to create and develop a mobile app for you. All you'll be responsible for are the graphics and uh, providing me with a high resolution um, 
logo and we can take it from there. I'll give it back to you <clears throat> and then you can give me feedback. But um, how many conferences are, are offering mobile apps? Like the African American community, the black community really needs to get on board with technology, stop being scared of technology, have a better understanding of social media. These are my areas of expertise and these are the areas of expertise that I would love to lend for you, lend to you. So when I was saying I'm donating, I absolutely am. You know, what I would love for it to equate to a sponsorship package perhaps where I could you know, get some exposure or recognition myself and some um, maybe four tickets to your event because there'd be me and at least two other interns. One would be age 24, the other one's age 23. They're just coming out of school and, you know, they're both black kids. One's a guy, one's a girl and, you know, they're passionate about entrepreneurship and marketing. So I would love for them to come to this event with me and then one extra person. So I'm asking for four tickets to the event and then, you know, whatever sponsorship package makes sense. I really would like to speak at your event. Again, I know that it's really late in the game and your agenda is probably already set. I'm, I'm happy to maybe do something electronic that we just keep on the app and even though I can't speak to people live, maybe they can just go into the app and then see my presentation through that. Whatever it is, I'm happy to have a conversation and we can work it out. Oh, I apologize for the um, informal video. I was going to buy a mic and get lighting and a tripod. I'm like, there's no time for this. I just have a message to deliver. I'm going to deliver it to you in the best way I can. Um, so that's it. I'm going to include my phone number and email there. And part of me leaving this video is just, again, video is becoming so important. This is what big you know, Fortune 500 corporations are doing. They're starting to communicate with video. And it's just a better way of engagement. People reading and content consumption through, you know, reading, that's kind of going down. So these are all the things I would like to teach all the entrepreneurs at your event is just what's coming down the digital pipeline, what's coming down with technology and marketing, like I told you about like live stream and whew, there's just so much, Dr. Fraser. There's just so much. And I'm absolutely one of the world's leaders in, in, in this area. And I would uh, I'd really like to impart this information on our community. So I hope to hear a positive response from you soon. Um, I'd like to say within 72 hours, but who knows what your schedule's like. So whenever is convenient for you, I just like deadlines because it helps people to manage and set up expectations. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Blessings, bye.